Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 14 of The Road to 10,000. As always, I am the Canadian Wi-Fi, or just Richard. Uh, today I have... am... 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 I am fulfilling another request uh, from a viewer. Today is actually one of those specific combo requests. One on Rosalina in the SL300 Roadster with slick tires. Um, as you can see, it's part of the Mercedes DLC, which, believe it or not, did exist in this game at one point. Um, I think it was the first DLC, it was a very tiny one, and then you just got these three things for free. All of them are in their unique character classes. Uh, ooh, let's try to fix this, okay. Uh, it's not actually that terrible of a, of a setup. And real quick, let's pick a GBA Mario circuit, as we appear to be in a lobby of 11 people, which actually isn't too terrible in the slightest. Uh, and one minute in and we're already into the racing, that's what I like to see, as we actually get fucking Yoshi Circuit. The amount of repeats in this series so far is getting obnoxious, and I'm not even the one viewing it. Uh, I, oh yeah, I forgot, I changed my name, or at least my, my me's name, to Dank Memes, so for the next few episodes, or until I decide to go get around to changing it, um, I'm going to be racing as Dank Memes, I hope you guys can understand. Uh, in front of us we can see someone's got the Pac-Man amiibo. Um, Looks pretty neat. Uh, all the Roadster cars in the Mercedes DLC have very interesting sounds to them, as you can hear. Um, you can hear the engine roaring as you're racing along. It's quite nice, actually. As I did actually manage to hit him there with the green shell. I didn't think I did. As there you go. That's how you're supposed to do that corner. Don't let go of that green shell, though. Cause, and then fail the garden hop. And then get red shells, because you let go of your green shell. Okay. So, uh, I haven't actually recorded since uh, yesterday, and yesterday was when I did a large uh, grouping of episodes, I suppose. I did 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and uh, I'm actually leaving, like I said, tomorrow morning, um, and I won't be here for a long time, uh, like almost two weeks, which is why I'm going to drop that right there. Gonna go ahead for some coins too. Beautiful corners. Ugh. Help. I keep failing the garden cut. Alright, I'm gonna chain this uh, red shell. Like so. And now if I get another one, I can easily hit him. Or at the very least, snipe him with green. That was one of the lamest green shell snipes I've ever done. Oh, come on. Speaking of lame, at least I got a bunch of people there with that blue shell blast. And I picked up four coins immediately after. I should be back far enough to get a mushroom, as I only end up with a freaking red shell. And I end up wasting it, too, on Sophia, which is upsetting, as uh, I still managed to sneak my way up into third. How? I don't know. As my right trigger sticks there and I'm unable to actually hop, that was bad. As I still somewhat fail the garden cut. I don't think I got the garden cut any of these three laps. Okay, I'm going to hang on to this. Hopefully a guy in front of me doesn't pull green or red or anything of the sort. And I should be able to come first here. That's just unfortunate, to be honest. Okay, that was an ugly finish to that race. Uh, very good bomb slam by my opponent. If I was a little bit quicker on my wits here, I would have looked down at item spy really quickly and noticed, oh, he has a bomb I should probably use my shroom now. Uh, what I was planning on doing is using my shroom on that last corner. Um, I think I recovered alright though. All thanks to that red shell. Yeah, I haven't played in uh... Well, excuse me, I haven't played in about 24 hours? So, I mean, I don't know. Rust, if you want to call it, is is real. And uh... There we go. Got a couple Canadians here again, which is kind of neat. Uh, yeah, like I said, you try to spread out your recordings as much as possible, which is why uh, when I needed to record, like, I want this series to be daily because um, it's going to be a longer series, and for the people who want daily episodes and can't get enough of the series, I am I appreciate it immensely. I really like the fact that you're enjoying this. Um, so... I try to do daily best I can, and it's a lot easier, instead of recording four episodes, four races a day and uploading it, it's a lot easier to, oh my goodness, we get wild, the repeat, this is the episode of the repeats, my friends, we could have already had two new tracks, but, I said I would stop worrying about this, but I just, 
I mean, over a hundred episodes, yes, we will get to see all the tracks, but I would like to have them at least somewhat even. This is probably like our fourth or fifth time on Wild Woods, and yes, it is beautiful. Listen to those birds chirping. But come on. I'm gonna go wide for the coins, and he took them all, so I'm gonna go down here for the coins. As that red shell just went right by me. Neat. Okay. So, we're chilling. I think that's the first time I did that area properly, but I missed the lilies. So yeah. What, what can you say about Mario Kart 8, man? It's such a fun game. That's another reason I kind of enjoy more um, recording in bulk. Uh, not only is it easier than obviously doing a video every, like a very small amount of playtime every day, and that's all I get for the day. Uh, when you like a game as much as I do. I just got low glider. That's neat. Except I hit a banana because of it. Oh boy. This ink is uh, is a cost in me. At least I get a nice lily pad pattern. And I missed the last one. Because of some random air time. Um, I'm going to move out of the middle of the road for that boomerang. Ah, fudge. Got the hot pattern wrong, and it caused me to go right over. Whew! Looked behind me just in time to see that. Unfortunately, I still went off. Okay, so I stole that guy's star from his crazy eight, but I also got bombed. How did that work exactly? I also just stole someone's mushroom. Okay, how many people can I pass here? Oh, come on with that random mushroom. Alright. Not my race. I just got red shelled in the absolute worst spot you could possibly get red shelled. I'm going to beat this dry bowser to the line, though. Because slides. I actually think I got beat by that bullet bill. Damn. That's lost five points. I think that might be the first loss of this series. And, uh... I would call it my fault, I suppose. I don't know whose fault it was. <laughs> uh, we're two races in, I believe, yes. Uh, that's another thing. I One of the episodes, I was like so convinced that we'd done five races, and we very clearly only did four. Um, something I notice is if I do my stupidly long like two-minute intros, uh, the video gets to like 17 minutes, and if I just do four races and just call it quits, the video is like 13 or 14 minutes, which is a really nice bite-sized video, um, as opposed to, like I said, <laughs> a crazy long one. But yeah, um, it's much more enjoyable for me to play this game for like a couple hours at a time. As we actually get Electrodrome, I don't know if we've played this one yet. Uh, I want to say we have, but cool track, based on a nightclub. <sighs> Yeah, there's still three Canadians. I might change my name after this episode, although I'll probably do two episodes with Rosalina. I also love Rosalina. The fact that she's viable in this game just makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just kind of... Eh. It's, <laughs> it, it's not good to record in bulk, but it helps me enjoy the game, I suppose, more. Can I get that draft? And then release that. And then this is the portion of the game where there's the longest continual section of slides in a row. Um, I don't know if that green shell is still chasing me, so I'm just going to drop that there and hope to get someone. Alright, now a red shell actually is after me. And yeah, this track, I don't know, it's kind of fun. I do really like the head bobbing uh, piranha plants. If you look to our left, you can see them. <laughs> It's the little touches by Nintendo, right? That is, uh, that's just unfortunate, that is. Look at that guy, trying to take advantage of me. Trying to combo me with that red shell. Um, 
So, ooh, I'm not gonna make this. Nope. Getting big randomly changed my momentum and completely threw me off. Oh well. Good thing nobody takes the inside line. Look at that, my banana is still chilling. Good to know I'm in a great lobby. <laughs> As that guy appears to be just a little bit too far in front of me. As there appears to be uh, no red shell coming behind me, I waited there a little bit to try to deflect it with the boomerang. Ooh, that was ugly. <sighs> I was really hoping that Scotty wasn't going to be a dick there and throw the green shell at me. Though he didn't really have a reason not to. <laughs> Uh, I was also trying to avoid him like the plague, although I just won the race unless there's lightning because I pulled a shroom. Oh yeah, we totally have done this track once before because I remember pulling a shroom and I said I can win as long as I do the shroom cut properly and then I messed up the shroom cut. So once again... <sighs> Fuck you, Scotty. <laughs> that was, uh, like I said, the shroom cut you can see there at the end catches you up quite a lot if you can do it properly. Just a little bit of angling, not even any break, um, as we recover from that loss in the second race. Just Or was that the first race where we lost points? No, it was the second. Regardless, we're already into the last race of this episode. Gonna be a nice nice starting point. Um, something I noticed is uh, when I don't eat, uh, I'm a poor college student and food, <laughs> I wouldn't say food is scarce, scarce. Uh, food takes a time to prepare and eating healthy is a challenge. Um, and if I haven't eaten yet that day and I start recording, I'm not very talkative and I obviously this because my blood sugar is really low and I'm just like out of energy. So now before each recording, I make sure to go out of my way to eat something, um, whether it's just like a bowl of cereal or something uh, random, because I feel like uh, it at least makes me more talkative and that makes the episodes a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. Because uh, not only that, but Nintendo. OK, so. I went into this series assuming I would make zero dollars off of it because I've heard a lot about Nintendo. Well, I've seen it too. Nintendo is anal about their soundtrack in this game. And to be fair, I don't blame them at all because their soundtrack in this game is 10 out of 10 perfection. If I made a soundtrack as good as that, I would want to protect it too. But, um... So I went into this series thinking like, oh, okay, every video is going to be claimed by Nintendo. That's fine. I'll just do it for fun. And it actually turns out that barely any videos actually get caught in the filter. Which is interesting, um, and in the last, how did I miss that? Oh, okay. Uh, in the last recording block, there was actually two videos that got claimed. One of them was because of Baby Park, and one of them was actually because of me talking in the intro. Um, so I'm gonna keep that in mind and just kind of. I mean, I've always known that if you just talk over music, uh, the filter can't catch it. By the way, I uh, messed up the angle, but going through here is faster. <laughs> you skip an item, but it's faster. Uh, yeah, we've definitely done Hyrule Circuit before. Fun track. Alright, Super Mini Turbo, come on. Stop being bad. There we go. Nice line, though. You. Okay, I just got the lowest glider ever. Did you see that? Wow. I mean, just listen to this. Why? I, I completely understand where Nintendo's coming from by trying to claim all the videos that use the soundtrack because oh, they did such a bang up job in this game. Oop, okay. I missed drifting speed there. That's bad. But I still have such a huge lead. It's really fine. I even missed the ramp drift there. So yeah, what I've been trying to do, uh, last re last recording block, I should probably mention, instead of just singing along to the amazing Hyrule theme, uh, last recording block, I, uh, I hadn't eaten anything yet that day, and I noticed I was happy, I suppose, like, I was in a really good mood last recording block. Uh, you have to go wide on this one, because there's the piranha plant, uh, and by going wide, I mean, don't hit that tree. I did not go wide enough. <sighs> Alright. I think I've gotten eaten by that Prana, both lap threes, which is upsetting. Hello. 
Oh yeah, winner. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm less talkative in this recording session. I'm just kind of playing the game as opposed to commentating a video. <laughs> uh, I, 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 that, that's going to be this video though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, already up to 6225. Look at us climbing. It's ridiculous. We were at 48 at the start of the series. What? Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to check out the other episodes, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.